five years ago, we created the world's first memorial for a glacier loss to climate change. This little glacier was called Okyokut, or OK Glacier. And when we discovered that this little glacier had died in the country of Iceland, we felt that its life needed some recognition. Now we're back in Iceland to initiate two more initiatives that we think will be very important for the world to understand the increasing crisis in our world's glaciers and in our climate more generally. The first of the two initiatives is the Global Glacier Casualty List. This is a web-based platform that allows storytelling about disappeared and soon to disappear glaciers all over the world. The pace of the loss of glaciers is accelerating. Over 260 glaciers have been lost in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Over a thousand glaciers have been lost in Tajikistan. Over 8,000 glaciers have been lost in China. And those numbers go up every year. So we're starting this platform not as a complete project, but really as an invitation to the world to engage. Glaciers have been fundamental for providing fresh water, for providing unique ecosystems for various kinds of species all over the world. This is a global phenomenon and why we want to draw global attention to the issue. One other element to our campaign is the world's first glacier graveyard. The glacier graveyard is a constellation of headstones made of ice, and those headstones will have on them the names of the fallen glaciers. These glacial headstones made of ice will also melt away, just like the namesakes. And we think this is really important because it draws attention to the urgency of combating the climate crisis, of reducing human-caused climate change, of reducing emissions, and bringing these emissions under control so that we have the possibility of saving glaciers into the future. 